Good morning guys. Today we're going to get some of this electrical system done. Unfortunately, my batteries didn't come in this week. So, I get to deal with that um, and continue using the generator for probably, hopefully just till Monday. It's uh, Saturday right now, but uh, yeah, kind of sucks. I wish uh, they would have been in for Friday. There was some delay or something and yeah. So all I've done this morning is basically just edit a video and uh, hang out in the camper. Uh, plan for today is head over to the gym, get a good run in, and then yeah, after that, full throttle on the camper and just work on stuff and get this thing done. I should really be working on my old one and getting it up for sale, but uh, right now you don't realize how hard it is to live with a bad battery the battery that was given to me with this camper is absolutely junk it won't hold a charge worth anything um maybe enough to run the fridge for a few hours now when i say run the fridge i mean the little light on the fridge not actually running the fridge see this fridge it doesn't actually when you put it on propane it's not just propane it's still for like the little control panel it still needs power so not a lot, but maybe like 0.25 of an amp. A little battery there can't even keep that going for 10 hours. So it's uh, quite annoying. So I've been having to go out into the back country and uh, camp every day, which is fine, but it's also hard on fuel. So yes, uh, we'll continue on with that. I know I said I was going to get a tour of this thing soon, but uh, I don't know, we'll see when it happens. So I'll see you guys in a little bit after the gym. All right, I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, you guys, we're finished up at the gym. I did some grocery shopping, went to Home Hardware, got some supplies. There's a few things that I wasn't able to get because I was just unsure about the wire size I need for AC wire. So I'm gonna hold off on that. I don't need it anyways right now because I don't have the batteries in. And I'm just gonna get the inverter charger mounted and then the solar all mounted up and we should be good for today until the batteries come in and then that'll be nice and just
quick wiring and stuff. Also going to try to do some of the flooring in here. So I got to clean off this bench and everything and just get to everything so I can see it. But first, put the groceries away. I was having second thoughts about where I was going to put the battery system. So I was kind of hoping that it would fit under here. There's not enough room for it in there, but that's fine. I think I've got it figured now. There is actually, so I, what I did here is I basically extended this out and made it longer then cut this piece and put it here. Now I'm going to put my new flooring over top of this, put a nice little piece of trim there. And then that'll hold my inverter charger. The batteries will be inside here. The batteries will be inside here. The only thing terrible about that is I'll have 400 amp hours of batteries, but if I want to add any more, it's going to make it kind of difficult, but I won't have to cut too much up in here. So if I do have to add more, I can just get more wire and place them somewhere else or put them under there where the bat old battery box is. My idea with this is last time I did this, I ripped out the old battery box and all that. And it kind of, it made it harder. So I couldn't really just take my panels off and sell it with the, it being all original. I think uh, this time I'm trying to keep it more original as possible. Other than of course my big step here, but I don't think anyone's gonna notice that. And like everything still opens fine. Yeah, I think this will this will be good. By the way, just a little talk here. So I went with an inverter charger for this one. This is supposed to be able to charge my batteries at like 75 amps. Up to. It's a 2000 watt. I could have upgraded the insides of this one and made the charger work. But I always found that like when charging with that, you still only get like 15 amps or whatever. So I don't know. I guess I'm hoping that this one's going to be able to charge my battery system a lot quicker. And I believe it is. I think that's the idea with it. So I guess we'll see. <laughs> uh, I don't know how the voltages work, but like with a 30 amp at, so 30 amps at 120 volts, you times the amps. I can't remember how it is, but something about it that it'll be able to charge at a lot higher of a volt a lot higher it'll be able to charge a 12 volt system really quickly when converting it from 120 volts so i'm hoping because when my solar system is like that too like it'll my solar i run everything uh like the panels i all run in i run them all in series and then they just come down to the solar controller and then it downsizes it to um from like 48 volts to 12 volts and then you get the same amps going into the batteries that's what i figured out and i think this is that's how this works too so that would be really nice if i could actually just charge my system at like 75 amps when plugged into 30 amp and it would be because i have 400 amp hours of batteries coming and that's going to be quite a bit i think that should be sufficient for me in the winter months and I think that will be enough. If not, I can get two more batteries and go to a 600 amp system. Uh, anything more than that, I think I'd want to start looking into running a 24 volt system. And then just, yeah, going from there. <laughs> but I think this is probably my best bet. I think 400 amp hours should be enough. It's That's double of what I have right now. And everything that I've had right now has been really good except for like I can get what is it with the furnace running all the time and this is up in like cold northern Alberta I was getting about three days off of them before I needed to figure out a way to charge them because my solar wasn't working and where I'm going to be next winter I'm not going to need that much I, I shouldn't be it shouldn't be at that cold again well, you never know. <laughs> I might end up at a ski town or something, and then I mean, I'm going to need that much. But that's why I'm going to this, because then I'll be able to plug in the generator at 15 amps and, like, hopefully be able to charge it 
it'll charge it faster than just like 15 amps trickling into a 400 amp hour system. Or if I have to go to a campground and plug into 30 amp and I'm able to charge the thing at like 75 amps, then I'm like laughing. Okay, there might be a reason why people use like laminate floor or anything like that and throw it in there. But I don't know, it had lino in it already. So I just was like, let's just throw lino in it again. Uh, I don't know what to think. The glue I used, I think is kind of trash. So I don't know, we'll see how it holds up, I guess. Worst case scenario, I can just redo it. This is the glue I used. It's not recommended to use for like stuff like this, but I don't know. It was easy to buy, easy to apply. I didn't have to get any brushes or anything. So um, while I'm waiting for that to dry, I am doing the tedious act of getting the legs put on my solar panels. I've got four solar panels and yeah just four solar panels so 400 watts of solar and i get to figure out where i'm gonna put that on the roof fun i also got a new roof vent that we're gonna put in today i think yeah we should be able to get around to that i hope so we'll hop back to it and get these solar panels all ready to go and then i'll get up on the roof and start screwing them down and all that fun stuff There are lots of ways you can set up these legs on here, but for space reasons, I am putting them closest to the center and I'm hoping that just works out better. Okay, check that out. We got our cut. Nice little piece of trim there. Now I just hope it all kind of fits, but it looks really good. I'm going to be honest, I don't know if I like that flooring. <sighs> I mean, it's not the biggest deal. I could just throw a piece of carpet on there too. It's just, I did spend 50 bucks on the flooring and I just used it. I mean, it'll work for now. It'll be fine. But I think what I'm going to do, I'm not going to put floor... Because I was going to do this piece here, but I don't like, yeah, I don't, I'm not putting that there. That's too much effort. And then let alone doing the entire floor in here. No, I should have just went black carpet. That kind of sucks. That's a $50 mistake. Okay. Let's do something fun like solar panels. All right, do that three more times. So we got 400 watts of solar up here now. I still have to put lap sealant on where I drilled them into the roof here, but that's about it. I had to add a little wire because it was a bit far for it to get across. But basically these two are wired in series and these two are wired in series. And then uh, together they uh, go in parallel and what I'm going to do, because they had solar up here before, is I'm just gonna cut these, which are the old wires to the solar controller that's inside already, but, and I'm just gonna use them for, uh, yeah, just use them for mine. Cause it's already routed and I don't have to, so. Perfect. All right, I got it all sealed up now. And uh, yeah. I think I'm ready to get down. I'm not going to hook up the wires at all yet, just cause it is live power. And uh, I don't need to do that yet. I don't have my batteries or anything in yet. So uh, that'll be later this week. Basically today was just to get uh, stuff ready for that, get the solar up and ready to go. And 
yeah i succeeded that now uh it's just left all that's left is just wiring inside the camper basically so that's not too bad okay so what i got done today is basically i got that box built for the inverter charger and i got the solar panels up so that's a huge chunk of like what i needed to get done now i'm just waiting on batteries basically but i think tomorrow i'll be coming back here and putting in the i have a fan because the one in there is broken is it broken it doesn't just need a fuse i should mess with that tonight because then that would save me 177 bucks. I could send that fan back or put it in the bathroom. Yeah, I think I'm gonna mess with that tonight. There is nothing wrong with that fuse, so I have no idea. I think I'm just going to guess that it's dead. I'll check the fuse box later. There's a bunch of junk there, but I'm pretty sure it's dead. And yeah, that kind of sucks. Okay, I think I'm going to take off from here um, and just go park somewhere for a bit uh, and have dinner and then probably go for another run today. Quite honestly, just tired today, but I'm going to go for a run after dinner. I think I'm just hungry. Yeah. We need to go camping soon. I mean, I'm always camping, but like actually out in the trees and stuff. Camping. Soon. Once I get all this stuff done, I just have to get this thing ready. Nothing like lining up for a huge trip and then uh, deciding that you want to change your living situation to a bigger camper and after you like literally the last my old camper which i still have right now it is for sale it's basically set up perfectly inside for this type of living except for the things that i complained about small fridge small dinette i didn't like and uh small bed but like everything else is like perfect and the electrical system's really good in it. Like, you're set. But it just came a time I was just like, it's worth it to me to move into something like this and just have all this space and just, oh, it's so wonderful. Like, it's like night and day that I'm like able to just get in there and just be like, this does not feel like small at all. It doesn't feel like a, it's so hard to say because it's like everything in the other one was just so such little things that were I just didn't like. And now switching to this one, it's like everything I like. So, yeah, I don't know. It's so worth it, though. It's going to be so good with that, like, 400 amp hours of batteries. I just wish my batteries would have came in this weekend. I would have been, like, so pumped to get everything done. Because right now I like getting the solar and everything set up, but it's like... Well, there's not really any reason to be in a hurry. The batteries aren't here. I'm going to be basically waiting on the batteries now and then I can have actually power. Because right now I have to use the generator every night or else it won't. I won't have heat. The battery that the guy gave me with this doesn't really have any juice left in it. And it'll run the lights for about a couple hours and then it's done. And that's, and I just changed all the bulbs to LED. So <laughs> I don't know. It's yeah, it's a horrible battery and I think it's just dead. Okay, we're going to go on a run. I don't feel like going on a run, but I'm going to go on a run. 
<sighs> Made it home. Oh, a little cool off. Oh, there we go. Six kilometers. Not my best. Kind of slacking tonight. But, uh, yeah, feel good. Feel really good. It's actually such a pretty rig. And I'll have you know that sun visor right there, it does work as a sun visor. <laughs> uh, you know what, you guys? I think that's going to be it for tonight. I am basically just going to head back to a spot there, start the generator, and hang out for the night, maybe watch a movie or something. Or edit one of the many videos I've shot now. I think I have... Oh yeah, I got. I think I got both three going right now. So it's nice having a backlog of videos like ready to go. I think it was after Whistler, I like kind of ran out. I don't know if I, I just wasn't doing much. And uh, yeah, I just had nothing to edit. So I was just making those other videos. But yeah, I should just get more vlogs in and show you guys about what it's all about. All right, well, that's going to be it for this one. I'll catch you in the next one. Later.